Let us bear thy heart. O Far i himmelen, la navnet ditt helliges, la riket ditt komme, la viljen din skje på jorden slik som i himmelen. Gi oss i dag vårt daglig brød, og tilgi oss vår skyld, slik oss og vi tilgi våre skyldner. La oss ikke komme i fristelse, men frels oss fra det onde, for riket er ditt, og makten og æren i evighet. Det hviler ikke på gjerninger for at ingen skal skryte av seg selv. For vi er hans verk, skapt i Kristus Jesus til gode gjerninger, som Gud på forhånd har lagt ferdige, for at vi skulle vandre i dem. Vi er ikke en monastery, bare for å være klar om det. Vi er ikke en monastery. Vi er en kristne og kristne kommunitet. Men det vi har, vi har tatt noen av de monastiske rytmene og verdene, og prøvd å sette det inn i en vanlig urban liv i en by. So we want to provide this framework saying that, okay, if we commit to these commitments and saying that if we do these things every, like if we pray together every day, for example, like we pray together Monday through Friday, it might not, you might not feel like praying every day. That's the, I know that for me, I don't feel like praying every day. But I committed to praying every day, which makes that, which makes this, room this potential, this possibility to actually be with God and be changed by God and be influenced by God every day. And also to be together as a community and, and search for something bigger. Unkloster is um, an invitation to a lifestyle. Uh, it's a framework for uh, following Jesus, basically. So it's an intentional community uh, people moving in together, uh, living together, committing to a number of commitments, but living out their everyday lives in the place that they live. Um, but together, like searching, uh, searching towards God and God's will for their lives. And realize that that monastic tradition uh, has had so many different forms up during history. And that there have been people the last decades trying to live that out in an urban context. Uh, and I was like, I was longing for that. Try to f I tried to find people that wanted to kind of do that with me. And sometimes I, f I kind of found like some people there, some people there. But, um, but I really like desired this, this way of life, like this, this life giving rhythms. Here we choose to come together and we choose to live in, in, in a certain way. And I think that choice uh, makes a difference, at least for me, um, that I'm like, I've chosen to be intentional. I've chosen to, to, be, to be open to these people. I've cho chosen to be vulnerable with these people. And I think that makes a big difference. But one night you walked away. <laughs> when I woke up and the next morning you were gone. I think I'd describe it as an intentional community where um, we all believed when we came in, in and knew that we wanted to uh, pursue our faith uh, together um, and so we choose to do it in, in different ways with different rhythms uh, throughout the week. Each community has, or each person that uh, commits to Unkloster um, commits to meeting together once a week, again once a week, to, to um, learn about faith, to seek God in different ways, to worship, to, to share communion, to, to, to help each other practice faith. Um, so we have this, we call them well, like evening gatherings or cloister or monastic gatherings, we call them. Prayer is, yeah, it's really important. Uh, and for me, prayer is not just, oh, I don't want it to be a one-way communication. I want it to be um, like two-way communication, more of a conversation rather than just like a monologue from me. Du har samlet oss fire, så kunne 
Vi behöver känna dig igen, Gud. Du, så ber vi om att du ska få lov att vara med oss genom den här samlingen. I Jesus namn. Amen. Amen. För mig betyder omkloster eh, ett hem, var vi bor samman och eh, tillbör Gud samman till dig. Jag bor i omkloster eh, för dig till att förstå världen bättre. Du ser mer in i dybden. Altså, du ser inte bara överflad, men du går in i dybden. Liksom. Du klarar att se vart det enkelte människa är, inte bara hela befolkningen, men liksom, vart det enkelt människa är. Det som jag är ganska mycket betydning och säg liksom det har mycket att säga för det. Visst du går till vart enkelt så till slut så blir det många liksom. Då bodde jag i en kloster så tror jag att det kommer ta behandla folk annorlunda, mycket bättre och kanske ha mindre fördomar och bara gå för det. Det ska jag känna att det kommer att gå bra. So you try to practice things and then maybe you fail miserably at things or maybe you actually succeed or maybe you're somewhere in between but I sense that God is, is walking with me. I sense this, this presence of God like in my everyday life. Um, so I think that's a huge part of that. That, um, that people can sense that God is actually walking with them. And, and, and that changes me. And it changes, so it changed me the first time when I accepted Christ. But it, ex but it changes me every day when I, when I encounter God. So in that way, it's like, I want to know more of God. I want to know more of His will for my life. I want to know, and I want to s be part of what He is doing, because I believe that God is creating things all the time. I hope that it will be a foundation to be able to to pursue what Christ calls you to. Or Christ leads you to um, in a different way. Because I believe that if we're gonna change, if we're gonna change how the world is today, we need to meet each other. Like people need to meet people. When people meet people, things happen. Oh, please, I'm not.